In today's video, I'm recreating a fan favorite from Applebee's menu called the Quesadilla Burger. Hi, I'm Tara the Foodie and I take the mystery out of cooking for you. Combining the best elements of a juicy burger and a cheesy quesadilla, this dish offers a delectable blend of textures and tastes. Now, let's get cooking. Two very delicious things. Who doesn't like a quesadilla? Who doesn't like a juicy cheeseburger? We interrupt this program to bring you a special bulletin. Before we get started, I just wanted to say welcome to all of the new subscribers that have come over. And if you haven't yet, I'd love it if you would hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell as well so that you never miss one of my videos. It's free for you to subscribe, but it does so much for this channel to help us grow and make more and more delicious videos for you. And you may notice that I have another very cute apron on. This is also made by Up and Stitches. Nancy over at Up and Stitches made this exclusively for me because I love avocado and I love working out and yoga. And so their little avocados doing yoga. So as you can see, you can be super personalized with the pattern that you want on your own apron. So contact Nancy at Up and Stitches and I'll put her information down below. Order yours today. So when you order a quesadilla burger at Applebee's, one of the fabulous things about it is that it has a Mexi Ranch sauce drizzled all over top of the burger. So we are going to make that sauce now. The first thing you add is a half a cup of sour cream. Next, add a half a cup of ranch dressing. <laughs> a quarter cup of salsa and a half a teaspoon of taco seasoning and mix it up. Now, anytime you make a sauce, you better taste it before you move on to the next step. You might need a little more taco seasoning. You might need a little more salsa, hot sauce. Actually, I think I am gonna add a little hot sauce. So I'm just going to put a few dashes of hot sauce in this as well. Now go ahead and take a taste. Mm. Mm. <laughs> now go ahead and set this aside and we'll talk about the pico de gallo. So the next thing that you want to do is put together your pico de gallo or you could buy it at the store, which obviously is easier. I like to make my own pico de gallo because it's just better. It just tastes better, smells better, it's fresher. It just looks better too. If you want to make your own pico de gallo, I always use the same recipe, and it's the recipe that was made famous by My Juicy Joe in this video here for the Juicy Joe Burger. So check that out, and I'll also have the recipe down below as well on how to make your own pico de gallo. Now doesn't that look good? Mm. Caught ya. <laughs> as it sits, it gets better. Mm. So the next thing that you want to do for your quesadilla burger is fry up some bacon. So for one burger, you need two strips of cooked bacon. I have three because, you know, Juicy Joe's hungry, so. <laughs> SMR? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to listen to Juicy Joe eat, there it is. It's like you're right there in his mouth. All right, so in the same pan that you just cooked your bacon in, go ahead and pour out the extra bacon fat from your pan and then grab six ounces of hamburger meat. And how I made this big old patty is I looked on the bottom of this plate and the size of this is pretty much the same size as this. <laughs> so I thought, why not put plastic wrap on the bottom and the top of a ball of six ounces of ground beef and then just take another plate and smash it down and that's how I made this. 
Yeah. And having the plastic underneath your burger patty is super important because it's gonna help me get it off of the plate and into the pan because it's, it's pretty thin and it might fall apart. I am going to turn my fire back on to medium high and you just wanna season it with just a simple salt and pepper. Put it in your hand. Yeah, yeah, okay. And then I'm just gonna kinda, I don't wanna get the plastic into the pan, it's my, in my head right here, so I'm gonna go like that, yeah. I'm figuring this out as I go. Okay, take the plastic, put it over your hand. So did you just make like a meat mitten? Yes. No, I made a plastic mitten. Meat wrapped. <laughs> meat mitten. Meat, meat we have to figure pumpkin. out what a meat mitten is though. Oh, that's probably. That's gotta be something. Tell, tell us in the comments down below what, I, I, I actually don't want you to do that because now I know what you're gonna say because 80% of you are male. <laughs> Walk just, right into that. I did. You know Meat what? Just mitten. do it anyway. Just come at me. Come at me, bros. Okay, I'm just gonna pop this right into the pan. I'm gonna flip it in there. Oh, look at that. That was good. That was good. Season the other side with salt and pepper as well. Go ahead and cook your burger for about three to four minutes on each side, just until it's got a nice crust on both sides and it's medium, medium well done. The salt and pepper shakers are having more fun than we are. <laughs> I, think, I think we need to charge them. All right, so the burger is cooked and out of the pan, and I just went ahead and put it on the plate with the bacon. And since there was a lot of burger crust and stuff like that on the bottom of the pan, I went ahead and while it was really screaming hot, put it under the hot water and just scraped off those burger bits. I want my pan nice and smooth and clean so that we can make the quesadilla part of the quesadilla burger. Go ahead and, you know, you could put regular oil in your pan, but if you have a spray, it's a little bit easier to just put just enough. So I'm gonna spray this olive oil spray into my cast iron pan. And it's nice and hot. Uh, I would say medium high is where you want it. This will not take long. Go ahead and take your tortilla, and I'm using a low carb tortilla. Might as well keep the carbs down if you can. So just know that if you are eating low carb, you can still make this recipe and enjoy it. So go ahead and take your tortilla and put it down into your pan, and then grab some shredded sharp cheddar cheese, <laughs> say that three times fast, and sprinkle it onto your quesadilla. I probably grabbed about I don't know, sort of a half a cup there. Don't be shy, because this is a quesadilla, so get going. Get some cheese on there. You're gonna let this tortilla cook for maybe another minute, just so that the cheese starts to melt and the bottom of your quesadilla is nice and golden brown. So this is what you want the bottom to look like. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out of the pan now and just place it on a plate next to you. So now we have the top of our quesadilla burger all ready to go. And now we are going to put another tortilla in our pan and assemble the rest of the quesadilla burger and then put this on top to finish it off. Is this how Applebee's does it, babe? I don't know, but we're, but we're we're following this picture. So I wanna show you this. I never show you my notes, but today I'm showing you my notes because I am doing a copycat recipe. This is the picture that you will find on the Applebee's website. It looks really nice, right? You tell me if this is what it looks like when you get it in the restaurant. Maybe it does. Maybe it does. But I'm gonna to try to make it just as beautiful, if not more beautiful. So you wanna spray your pan again. 
Go ahead and put in your other tortilla into the pan. And you want to kind of move quickly because things are hot in this cast iron pan. So you're doing another layer of cheddar cheese. On top of your shredded cheese, you are going to sprinkle on some shredded lettuce, or some of you have told me it's called shreddus. <laughs> Get a good, good bed of shredded lettuce, so you've got a nice crunch. Drizzle on some of your Mexi Ranch sauce. Now place your burger on top of the Mexi Ranch sauce and lettuce. On top of your burger, you want to add two slices of pepper jack cheese. Two strips of bacon. Some of your glorious pico de gallo. And then you top it with the first quesadilla half that we made, cheese side down. Look at that. Look at that. Give it a nice little press down with your hand. And now we want to check the bottom to see how we're doing. We do have it on low so that we don't burn it. <laughs> okay, keep it on low and I'm gonna grab a lid just so that everything melts. Just put it over top and that way the pepper jack cheese is gonna melt, everything's gonna kind of meld together while that bottom tortilla finishes crisping up. Okay, that is looking so pretty. So let's take our pan over to our cutting board because we're gonna wanna cut this in half to really display its beauty like that. All right, so I'm going to bite the bullet here and cut this in half. And how I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna take the tip. <laughs> Why can't I say that to you guys and not laugh? I don't know. I'm gonna take just the tip of this knife and I'm just gonna poke a hole to get it started because this is a crispy tortilla, okay? So I'm kind of making like a perforated line first. Now we have that line. So now we can take it and just go right down with it. So we're gonna put it in there, right? And we're just gonna press down. All right, now, are you guys ready for this? Are we, are we ready for this, you guys? How does that look? So if you love the Applebee's quesadilla burger, this is how you can make it at home. I just, I, I just, I need you to just kind of, just admire it. <laughs> All right, so it is my favorite time of every episode, time to taste. No, actually I'm gonna bite it right here on the corner because I've got some more pico de gallo, some sauce, some bacon. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. This is so good. It really does taste like you're eating a quesadilla, but you're also eating a cheeseburger, a bacon cheeseburger, which is even better. It's got the sauce that you want on it. It's got all kinds of, you know, different flavors going on from the pico de gallo, just the different kinds of cheeses on it. It's lovely because it has the tortilla that's got a different texture to it. It's not a big pillowy bready bun because sometimes that just, it's too much. This lets all the ingredients do the talking, you know? It's a great idea, Applebee's. I had to make it, I had to do it 
here at home so that I can have it whenever I want. <laughs> and if you've made it this far in the video, you know, I would love it if you would share this video with your friends and family. Some maybe aren't on YouTube, send it to them through text, you know, maybe they're not even on social media, send them the link. I'll also have the recipe down below so that you can just screenshot it if you want to. And there will always be a printable link as well that you can click on. I'm Tara the Foodie, taking the mystery out of cooking for you. And I will see you next time. Wow. I got you a napkin. This is yours. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Bring Look it closer to you. Look at this thing. I know. Mm. It's so good. Oh yeah. yeah. I, I'm surprised it holds together. It, like yeah. you, you were saying, this is something that it, it does hold. You can pick it up without it instantly making a mess. Yeah. But I'm going in. Enough waiting around. <laughs> you do the talking, I'll do the eating. <laughs> he has to watch me the whole time just eat things and he's just so hungry. <laughs> Isn't that good? Mm. Yeah, having it in a quesadilla style, yeah. it just seems that you can just enjoy everything that's inside of it mm -hmm. so much more than just a, a bun like uh, whatever, sesame, a brioche, or, you know, all that breading seems to yeah. take away from what you're really preparing here. You're not preparing bread, you're preparing a, a smashing quesadilla burger. Smashing. That's okay. it, he's gonna sit here and finish it now. <laughs> Bye, everybody. What? I already know I'm gonna get shit for this. I know, it is an mm. Applebee's recipe. <laughs> yeah. But look. Who's going to do Applebee's recipes? Look, it is apparently a popular recipe, and I think it's a great idea, so that is why I'm making it. Because I make good food on this channel, and you all know it, and I'm sure it'll be better than Applebee's. <laughs> and that's what matters. Yes. And what do you got to say for your Instagram, people? <laughs> oh, God. The dirty, dirt-throwing bitches. Look, those of you that have come over here from Instagram, hello. Mm. <laughs> um, I can say taco. It's taco. 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 I am from the Midwest, Northeast Ohio, to be specific. I speak a certain way, and apparently I say taco. <laughs> The, uh, the Instagram uh, viewers are different. They are a bit more thuggish. Mm. They're from the streets. What about my nipples? Nothing. It was not for everyone's ears. We're supposed to be talking about your boobs, Why? not my nipples. <laughs> you like my nipples? I like your nipples. Mm. That's why we get along so well. Okay. Okay. Is that your homemade taco seasoning? <laughs> <laughs> I also buy the packets. I can smell it. Out in the streets, <laughs> they call it murder. Scene three. Fixing. <laughs> Cooked bacon. How to cook bacon? Well... No, wait. That's not cooked bacon. It's not yet. You take it out of the package and you cook it. The end. It says in scene three, fixings, <laughs> cooked bacon. I see bacon is not cooked. <laughs> I, might, I might make an extra slice just so you can eat it. Would I'm you like now. that? I'm happy now. All right. See, I know how to make my man happy. You made your cameraman happy. Mm-hmm. And if you want to know how to keep your man, <laughs> watch this video. Every woman should know how to make their man a sandwich. That looks pretty gorgeous. <coughs> I know. I'm talking about you, baby. Oh, my baby. Thank you. But this is pretty good, too. I know. Mm. I don't know. What do you think, people? <laughs> yeah, it looks better. <laughs>